Some of you may notice that Boston Rob <laughs> is kind of from Boston. He's from Florida now. Uh, but yeah, okay, so he was originally from Boston. And Jeremy is from Boston. And you think, oh, well, how come they don't seem connected? You know, Jeremy's from Cambridge. And uh, why haven't Boston Rob and Jeremy built more of a, uh, an alliance, a, a stronger bond than what they appear to have, if any? Actually, it appears as if they may not even have any at all. And I think people put uh, too much emphasis on uh, geography. Uh, the idea that I'm from the East Coast and somebody else is from the East Coast has nothing in my mind. No play, no weight, no value necessarily whatsoever other than as a tool I might exploit at some point. It's certainly not what I would use to build uh, an alliance or to make decisions about who, with whom I could uh, move forward in a game most profitably. So I, I'm not surprised at all that there doesn't seem to be a connection between Boston, Rob, and Jeremy. I don't know that they have anywhere near the interaction that Boston has had with uh, several other people, including Ethan and Parvati. So it makes sense that those are the folks with whom he's connected there for this season. Although I don't think that alliance will serve him well. We'll see. Did you like that last night when Adam said to you, the viewers, uh, strategically telling people truths at the right times is uh, a benefit, is helpful. I agree with him. I think that's a great uh, observation to make. And I love that he shared it with viewers uh, last night, all in the midst of this, trying to figure out who's going to, uh, to tribal, who's going, to, going home, actually, who's being voted out. So Adam's playing, um, like I said, maybe a little too hard, uh, a little too openly, but, but we'll see. I know, I know he chose intentionally to expose whatever parts of his plan he wanted to. So I like that he's taken responsibility for exposing it. I don't know if the decision to expose it was uh, as good as he thinks it was, but he didn't go home. One of the uh, bits last night that helped me worry if Ethan were the one who was going home was Ethan's comment uh, about how he couldn't think too far ahead in the game if he's not even in the game. Uh, and that, that's a great um, point to be very, very powerfully aware of. And so, yes, you can think ahead and strategize, and you must to be a good player. But when push comes to shove, when you really are in it and facing imminent removal, Nothing should be off limits. And I think that's what Ethan was talking about. At that point, he had to play in the here and now and do what it took to keep his butt in the game. It wasn't enough last night, sadly. But I like the idea that he knew what he had to do to stay in. Hey, you, yeah, you, watching the video. You thought it was over. No, you got a job to do. Click the like button and subscribe right below. Come on, get on it now and feel free to comment. Go ahead. Tell me how arrogant I am. Tell me how much you can't stand this or that. I'll listen. <laughs> comment away.